feast your eyes on this stunning new Peugeot 308. Yes, it's the new Peugeot hatchback and the first car to sport the brand new line emblem. It's a car that has been a long time coming, but was it worth the wait? Let's find out. And my name is James from Arbury. I'm very pleased to say that the new Peugeot 308 has landed in our showrooms. It's now ready for test drives and orders, but is it worth your consideration? Well, today we're going to lift the lid on this car and we'll have a look. Before we get into the finer details, it's important to say there are five different trim levels with this new Peugeot, starting out with the Active Premium and then the Allure. Allure Premium and high specification models, the GT and the GT Premium. This is also the station wagon option on all trim levels in case you need extra boot space, which we'll get to later. So let's just start by admiring the design of this car. This is the Allure Premium Hybrid trim level. It's very nicely streamlined and it's very dynamic from every angle. It really is stunning, especially in this pearl white. It also comes in a variety of other colors from olivine green, Bianca white, cumulus gray, elixir red, Nera black, and my personal favorite, vertigo blue. At the front of the car, again, this is the first Peugeot to be released with the brand's new badge, the Lion Shield. And I think you'll agree it really stands out that it sits center stage in the middle of the signature grille. However, this logo on the front has a clever trick under its sleeve. This is actually made from Indian metal that's 3D printed and allows the driver assist radars to be concealed behind it without any ugly boxes on your windscreen, for example. That allows the radar to be hidden, but not interfere with it either. Quite clever, I think. Also, the front end of the bonnet sports the new Peugeot monogram just like all the Peugeots of the past. Very nice. The sides also have these ultra compact saber tooth style lighting on either side, which has been a trademark of the new era Peugeots. They're your daytime running lights too. Coming around to the side profile, I'm immediately drawn to these aerodynamic lines that run down the side of the car. It's very sleek, gives it a real muscular and athletic look. Along with that, the lowered roof line gives you a really sporty finish. Your yellow wheel sizes start at 16 inch and work their way up to 18 inch. And then you also get the privacy windows on the rear passengers, which come as standard across the model range. On the hybrid version, you'll have your charge port on this side here. On the other side will be your standard fuel tank. Now to the rear of the vehicle. You have these gray LED rear lights and the gloss black trim, which connects the two on the high spec versions. Boot release is tucked just underneath, just here. Again, you have the Peugeot's wonderful new badge on the rear too, as well as that tinted privacy glass on the back window there. Also, if it is raining, you can put the car into reverse. The window wipers will automatically turn just to give you that extra bit of clearer view when reversing. The interior is very different from the other hatchbacks in its class. Build quality is nice, nice and solid. The inside really is even better looking than the outside. You've got the sweeping dashboard and all the different textures on board as well. Critics are saying this Peugeot really has raised the bar on high quality finishes, knocked its competitors out of the water, and I totally agree. This nice 10 inch touchscreen display infotainment system comes as standard across the range. I love that it's really responsive and very user friendly as well. Just makes life a lot easier. Sitting under the touchscreen, you do have the new iToggle system. It's basically a shortcut system, really easy and simple to use. Go to your application drawer on the screen, tap and hold on one of the toggles that you'd wish to remove and then simply choose a new shortcut for you. This makes life a lot easier, a lot quicker and it can mean you can personalize the car to your own liking. Underneath the eye toggles you do have some physical buttons as well. Very simple buttons mostly for engaging the heated windscreens, rear windscreens, recirculating your air and your general air conditioning and vehicle setting modes as well. You do also, of course, have the hazard lights. On top of that, you can also connect Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, brand new wireless connection as well. You do also have access to the USB charger just below for physical wired connections too. It's worth mentioning that in the center console, you also have a good amount of storage. The USB port, 12 volt socket. You also have cup holders just below. It's additional storage as well, just underneath the armrest with a USB charger. It's also a nice sliders glove box as well, which is felt lined. It's very nice indeed. Up front, you have the new multi-function steering wheel, which gives you access to the various driving aid functions, mobile phone connectivity and media functions as well. 
does also have voice activation via the Peugeot Assistant system. You can use the command verbally or you can press the button just like so. Take me to Arbury Bromsgrove. Navigating to Arbury Bromsgrove. It's as simple as that. Beyond the steering wheel, you have the Peugeot iCockpit system as well. It's a full 10 inch digital display, which shows you a lot of useful driving information. It's a safe way to keep your eyes on the road, whilst also being able to view satellite navigation information and your media functions as well. Hybrid versions of the 308 also come with a charging status of screen and ability to see how much energy as well as your fuel that you have left on the car as well. Now the boot capacity on the hybrid model is 361 litres. Petrol and diesel models have a slightly larger 412 litre boot capacity. However, if you require an even bigger boot, then the SW version boasts a 608 litre capacity. By folding down the rear seats, you can achieve a maximum of 1,634 litres. So let's talk engines. At each trim level, we have the option of a petrol, a diesel or a hybrid. The entry level is a petrol with a 1.2 litre turbocharged engine. It's got three cylinders and it puts out 131 horsepower. Then you have the 1.5 litre diesel, which also produces 131 horsepower. Then you have the hybrids. There are two different variations of these. They both use a 1.6 litre turbocharged petrol engine with the addition of the electrical motor. They produce either 100 horsepower or 225 horsepower. All models are automatic and front wheel drive. So let's take it for a spin. Oh, that's real good. It's really comfortable to drive, soaks up all the bumps on all the UK roads. It's refined, but does have a bit of a punch on it as well. If you pop your foot down on accelerator, you do get that solid acceleration from the petrol engine. So the 308, depending on which spec you do go for, petrol and diesel models will come with a drive mode selector for the sport, normal and eco modes. It always starts into normal. The eco mode will give you some extra miles per gallon on the longer journeys and the sport mode gives an extra bit of punch and stiffens up the suspension and the steering as well. On the hybrid mode, you get access to a fully electric zero emission driving mode. You also get a hybrid mode as well, best of both worlds. There is also a sport mode as well, which gives you maximum power from both the electric and the petrol engines. The 308 as well also comes with an active filtration system on the air conditioning. There's actually a sensor built into the back of the cabin, which picks up any dirty pollutions on the outside of the car, cleans them all out, brings you some nice fresh air around the cabin. It's perfect for families as well with younger children. It means always breathing in some nice clean air. All 308 models come with an automatic eight-speed gear selector. Super simple, it's called the Toggle Compact System from Peugeot. It's got your park, reverse, neutral, and drive. All hybrid models also come with a regenerative braking mode as well. It's a separate button with a little B on it, which means taking your foot off the accelerator, gives it that little bit of engine braking, charges the car back up as well, just to give that extra bit of range on the longer journeys. The 308s also come with adaptive cruise control from the Allure Premium Spec onwards. Super, super easy system to use. You set your cruise control like you normally would. This vehicle's fitted with a radar at the front, which just keeps you at that nice distance between you and the vehicle in front. If the car does slow down, the car will, here will also slow down as well. Just keeps you at a nice, safe distance. There's also blind spot monitors on both of your wing mirrors, which do flash up orange when a vehicle is passing across on either side too. This brand new 308 is a personal favourite of mine from Peugeot as well. It seems to kind of attract attention from every certain person in the UK as well. It's great for families, there's plenty of leg room in the back for the kids. It's also great for any company people as well because great miles per gallon on the hybrid models. Diesel models always support the great miles per gallon as well. But it's also so smart and sportily designed. It actually appeals to the younger generation as well. Loads of technology throughout the vehicle, both inside and out. I'm sure it's a massive win for Peugeot as well. So there you have it, the wonderful new Peugeot 308. A superb car with stylish looks, high quality interior, and some really clever little features. It's also a good stepping stone for those looking to venture into the world of electric with a hybrid option. If you have any questions or would like to try it out for yourself, then please do get in touch. I'll be happy to give you a test drive in one of our demonstrated vehicles and get you behind the wheel. Arbury has Peugeot locations here at Bromsgrove, 
Leamington Spa, Stourbridge, Warsaw, Nuneaton and Lichfield. So wherever you are in the Midlands, we can help. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon at Arbury. Bye for now. Oh, that's real good.